it has finally occurred to me after 3,000 kills why the Black Bear grind has been particularly enjoyable despite the fact that we are still going without a great one. And the answer is, I think, optimism. And that might sound stupid, but I think I can display that pretty quickly. This Lake Athamildir outpost at the end of every run looks something like this with a whole ton of bears. And I guess the other side of it is, you see very often in the community when a Great One Black Bear gets posted, it happens to be at this lake. If we get, say, 25 bears in a run, about half of them are here, so it just feels like every run, every lake, it's a lead up to this spot and just being incredibly hopeful that there's going to be a great one here. And of course, in this case, there is not, but at least there are a couple of decent sized bears to uh, try to take. So I think none of these bears are really broadside. We're probably gonna go with the 300 first, and then switch to the 308. It kind of depends on the way the bears are standing. If a bunch are facing us, I just find the 308 gets more flesh hits than anything, and it just requires more follow-up shots. So after that initial little phase there, we'll start with the 308 and see what we can get. And I'm kind of thinking maybe this will be something we do more often. Start a video like at the end of a run like this, and then actually do another full run. And there's something else we're going to do along with this, We'll just kind of see how that goes. Now, I don't know where some of these bears got to. I guess they're just being a little bit slow, which honestly is definitely uh, useful. When we go to the 308 second, a lot of times I'll do that quick double tap kind of thing where I try to hit a bear twice. Just because either a shot can be poor or even a single lung shot, it can take a little longer to bring them down. So if we can get a second shot, and if the bears are so spread out that that's not a problem, then that just is going to reduce the amount of tracking we have to do. So that one is going down. Then we can go through and pick everything up. And I think in the interest of brevity for this one, we'll probably not show all of the claiming, especially since we just shot something like 11 bears. But the, the bigger ones, the big seven in the mythical, at least we'll take a look and see what they scored. So there is our mythical at 22.4, actually almost 260 kgs. So one of the higher scoring mythicals we've had. I think the seven was one of our first four shots. So that's going to be down there at the end. If I'm not mistaken, this is the level seven. Actually too high of a shot on that one. Ended up being a 21.1, but a silver because of that. And oddly enough, I think our last bear really is number 11 for this uh, particular lake. So not too bad. Happened to estimate just right by accident. But one thing that I've started doing after this lake, normally for the first 2,900 kills of this run, this was the end of the run. Basically it gets dark at this point and I don't really love hunting after dark, but it seems to be a thing. If I go and visit some of the lakes from earlier in the hunt, and a lot of times I'll go to ones that maybe I didn't get any bears at all. What happens on the next run is that there seems to be more bears out and about early and I don't know why there'd be any correlation with this whatsoever but i have started to see it on the last 150 bears or so over the course of about five or six runs so is there anything to it i have no idea it does end up with a higher bear total per run because we will see a couple as we do this but i do find it interesting that that seemed to change something and whether it is just a fluke in these last couple of bears i don't know but i think it's something i'm going to continue doing until i see something different so the night hunting part isn't exactly as fun. It can be a lot tougher to actually see where we're placing our shot. And I've talked about before with the usually drinking black bears, but even ones that are alert like that, when it gets this dark, or especially at long range when there's low light, it can be really tough to see where the black bear's head is and you can end up with a skull shot and tracking forever when a bear is just kind of looking back over his shoulder and blocking his vitals. So, that can be a little bit tough. I don't know that we'll maybe do as much night hunting as I otherwise would uh, when I'm not recording, but for the sake of being able to see well in the video and stuff like that, we'll try to keep it limited. I think we will go and check this big lake here, and then we'll probably go back to daytime. I've found lately quite a few bears there. We'll kind of see if that continues here. Now, I did actually have at this lake two male bears at the beginning of the run. So it'll be interesting to see if there are a bunch more or just this one, but even three for a full run is pretty decent. And if the zone on the left, if we are still at a render of now, 
ends up producing any more will be well above the average, I would say. It's kind of over in that area. And maybe that is going to be it for this run, but getting three isn't bad. All were pretty low level, I think a four or five and a six. But still, it is a numbers game at the end of the day. And because of that, every bear matters, even if they are just low level ones. This looks to be a dark fur type, I think. I wasn't sure if it might have been the brown rare fur type, looking at it through the night vision binoculars, but we'll go ahead and get set back up for another daylight run. And as we set out here for our second run of the day and our first full run of this video, I think it's time to introduce what was a pretty bizarre last week of black bear grinding. Of course, you guys probably know by now, normally when we get to a black bear grind video, there are a number of trophies from the previous several days of grinding Black Bear, and this is no exception. And to be quite honest, there are so many this week that there's going to be kind of like a montage thing that we do. Otherwise, this video is going to be like 45 minutes long. If I used the live commentary, it would just be insane. But I had a stretch of, I think, six or seven runs with an absurd number of cinnamon Black Bear in it. And... I'll just not mention anymore, we'll get straight into this little mini cinnamon black bear montage and the results of it are just, I don't know, I, I don't even know how to describe how it ended up. Well, that's fitting. A level five male black bear running off as we get going here, but all those cinnamons, and yet every single one of them was a low level. And I think that's the thing that's so interesting. We haven't had a gold cinnamon black bear yet, and that's the rare that we've had the most of. Only one brown fur type, that one made gold, and I think three blondes and one of those three was a gold. It's just been really odd, and I really want a cinnamon gold, especially if that many keep spotting, but here we are with that many more and we still don't have one. As for this guy though, just a dark fur type again, 18.2. And we'll keep on scooting around this lake and again, maybe we'll come back to it at the end because I don't see any more here. But even just getting one is a good start. I've had a fair few runs where we check this spot and these two lakes and get no males. Getting just one here at the start is a good sign. But again, the one thing I do want to pay attention to at the beginning of this run is how many bears we get, you know, maybe before 1700 at these lakes that, as I mentioned, oftentimes will actually end up getting none. And yet again, one of our first lakes we have a male bear. That one that's just kind of popped up out of the reeds is in all likelihood a female. Although I will have runs on occasion where there are two males in here, and actually, don't know if that's the one that we saw first, but there is a level 5 in there too. We'll get him down. That should be the level 3 female, and it is. So that is now three bears here at our first two lakes. I like where this is going. Now I know this video is going to start to get pretty long between going to the mule deer out post lake twice, the week of last kills getting worked into the video and stuff. So we'll try to make, other than this and explaining it, the claiming portions for the rest of the hunt fairly brief. But at least we're able to get a couple of bears down, including a level six, which unfortunately ends up being a silver as well. So this is one of the lakes that we visited after dark for the last run, and even though there were no bears here then, we do have a level 7 now kind of early, although we are past the 1700 mark. So does that have anything to do with that particular bear spawning? I have no idea. It seems to be close to 50-50 with this lake anyway, whether we get a male or not. So it could just happen to be the case that on this particular run, one was going to spawn no matter what. but. I do just, for whatever reason, seem to see more bears in situations like that if I do check a couple spots after I go to the Mule Deer Outpost, so like I said, I'll just continue to do that as long as it keeps working. And by the way, there was another level 7 in there. Now that happens a little less frequently. Getting two males in any capacity at this spot is pretty uncommon, so that's good to see. 
And I don't think I did remember to show the lake. It's this one down here in the southeast. But as I mentioned, we'll try to make the claiming quick. A 20.4 there with a lung liver stomach shot. And what I can only assume is going to be a messed up gold, a 20.6 with two intestine shots to get him down fairly quickly from the 300. So yet again, back at this lake, we do have another male bear here, although once again, a fairly small one being a level four. And yet again, we see this kind of problem where you can't tell where their heads are once it gets to low light. One thing that I do find at least with the 300 to be fairly effective if I can at least see what direction they face, I'll try to shoot that opposite shoulder and a lot of times that does get into a lung. Sometimes it ends up being a flesh hit and of course that's not good, but at least in that case it did work out. And as we head over here, we have another kind of mini montage of the diamonds. Again, in the interest of this video not being like 45 minutes long, I wanted to kind of put the trophy kills into little mini montages and there were a fair few diamonds in the past week as well. Now, I'm kind of hoping, at least for the montage trophy kills in videos like this, that it maybe is only a one-time thing, just because we have the monthly montages, and that might get a little bit much where trophies get repeated. And this month's montage with, what, I guess it would be over 30 trophy bears by now. It's going to be interesting if we have all those in there. Got another level 6 over on that side, by the way, so we'll try to make that shot. But that has been... One thing this week, between all the cinnamon bears and a bunch of level 9 showing up, it's probably our most productive week in terms of overall trophy bears, rares, and diamonds combined. And that is a good thing. Just need to get that ultimate goal accomplished of seeing a level 10 pop up. So another level 6 here. This one did make gold. Lots of dark fur types today. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I do wonder kind of what is the most common of the common fur types at least in terms of what we had for diamonds it's far and away mostly dusky and i i have to think the dark and the black fur types are a little less common so seeing that many today i guess is a good thing but one last trip to the mule deer outpost and yet again the reason why this grind has kept me coming back even when it's gotten a little bit tough seeing a ton of great ones posted going over 3,000 kills and still no great one in sight. It's always the unknown of what's over this tiny little hill coming from this outpost and what might be here at this lake. So crossing my fingers, maybe something good's going to be here. Overall, assuming there's in the area of 10 to 12 here, we should be close to 50, maybe 60 bears between the two runs today. So that much has been good regardless of result. But let's take a look and see what's going on over here. Looks like there are a fair few packed in there. Mostly, at least at the start, pretty average size. There's a 7. Got an 8 up in there. A 4 and whatever is hidden in the reeds. So we'll get in. Might be a 308 first run this time, which at least would show the difference. And just real quick as we get in the tripod to kind of explain why I go 308 first sometimes and 300 first the other times. The 308 is a little bit small for a black bear, at least when they are facing head on. But the broadside shots, normally those will land just fine. So we're going to try to hit the mythical first. That one's not broadside, but I feel like that's doable. Now the standing on the hind legs thing is not something we see every time. But I think we actually did okay there. I'm going to say four, if not all five of those shots should have been a lung hit. The only one I'm unsure about is that second one that had been standing. And at least when we get that many, and if they are good hits with the 308, we're already one bear up on what we could have done with the 300. At best, we can get four lung shots with the 300 when we do that. I'm not sure. Was that vertebrae, perhaps? It almost had to have been, so he's going to go down. We'll focus on any others that may be coming through here, such as that guy right there. And one thing I haven't seen, that was way far back, by the way. 
I haven't seen any wounded bears coming around. Now that one is out there, kind of where we started. That might have been the one that I was talking about, I can't remember. Now even that's gonna go down, but real quick from the 300, we'll hit, hit that again. And another shot wouldn't be a bad thing if we could get one lined up. He's probably gonna go down before we get that, so we'll stay loaded for any of those because there should be one or two more somewhere. And there are two... Oh, the mythical actually didn't go down, so I guess actually that maybe displays decently well why I don't shoot a bunch of bears when they're frontal with the 308 first. We'll go and see where that shot hits. That's the one thing I need to remember to pay attention to is the location of the hit from the 308 on that mythical. But I think that is now all the bears. And I will at least try to keep track again as we go through, but we won't show maybe all the claiming to speed things up. But I think this is the mythical. Ironically enough, the dusky fur type again. I didn't know one got up that hill. That's unfortunate. One must have got away. But, oh, we just got the glitch. So we happen to stand up that there's the animation where basically, before the bullet can even get there, literally immediately, bears will stand on their hind legs. And rather than getting a chest shot, we end up with that from the 308. So hard to say if our bullet placement was okay or not. There are a bunch still laying here. That mythical was harvest number five. All these are grouped closely enough together we can just scoot through. We got six and seven as lower level bears. Eight and nine up here, so we had at least ten. Another low level with that five, so that's one of the ones that we shot while it was standing. I think the one right after we shot the mythical the second time. Got this one up in here, which was another five. That's bear number nine. And then bear number ten is laying right over there. It looks like we got exactly ten. So just with this lake. In the two runs that we did, 21 bears. Not half bad considering we probably shot in the area of 50-ish between the two runs as a whole today. The last one is a gold, which of course is a plus. And now we'll go back to the trophy lodge, which has a ton of black bear additions. And again, if I've counted right, and I believe I have, we have 30 black bears from this grind in the trophy lodge between diamonds and rares. So. A bunch of lower ones, 22.9, we do have a 23.2 and 23.4 back there, but minimum score basically at 22.8, another 22.9 and that 23 I mentioned, and then all of these cinnamons, 16, 16.3, 18.2, that one at least being kind of close, 18 and 17.8. I just, it blew my mind that we kept on finding them, and we could not get one that even had a shot at being a gold. I hope we can get one. I also would just prefer to hopefully get the great one and be done, but we'll kind of see where that ends up. So I know this video is probably all over the place, but I wanted to kind of get caught back up in terms of the diamonds and rare trophies that we had just kind of stored in the last week. And I also wanted to try that and go into the Mule Deer Outpost twice in a video and just kind of seeing how that went. So I guess I'll leave that question to you guys before we wrap up. Is that something you guys like to see more, even with the little montages in the videos, but also going to that Mule Deer Outpost Lake twice, or should we just do one full run per video? I am interested to know what you guys want to see for the duration of this Black Bear grind. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.